everybody successful from your from no, your I area. Don't. Shout out to Fred O'Bang. Shout out to Boulevard <laughs> Mail, TBG. Shout out the Young Boy Free, and they beefing. But I, I you can't make me pick no side. La familia, man, y'all go check out my little partner Trey, R. H. O. Y'all go check him out on YouTube. Up and coming artist out of Baton Rouge. He got a different wave, man. He on a different vibe. And I definitely support him. I recommend that y'all do as well. This ain't even promo. This is just me showing love to a youngin that's on something different and trying to show y'all positivity. Bring that positivity to Baton Rouge. And y'all already know, man. Go tap in with the 3J Know the Truth. Y'all know, man, he one of the OGs to this little area right here on YouTube, man. So go get him back up there. He lost his channel. So go show him some love, family. Y'all already know what that is on the cool. But what's going on today, family? Y'all know we back in this thing with another one, man. And uh, we got to chop it up about some things, man, because a groundbreaking, legendary, I'm talking about legendary interview was just done with, y'all know that main main, Uncle Bang. And uh, he had a few things, man, that he chopped it up about on there. And I'm not even just meaning uh, the comments that he made regarding the legendary Boosie. But uh, I'm talking about the overall interview, just his interview, man. That was the best interview I ever seen on No Jump. Uncle Bang went up there and showed out on the cool. And he going to be the starter, man. He going to be the next star to rise out of BR, man. Just off of who he is, man. The people been wanting real to come back people who authentically themselves to come back and that's what you're getting with uncle bang but of course he has some comments about boosie man yeah badass uh oh, no pussy what, what kodak, kodak be calling that boy pussy yeah pussy when this motherfucker no jumper drop I, I i'm not sure it probably be tomorrow or something but nigga know you you've been over there trying to pay adam not to drop the shit you know what i'm saying come on adam i give you 100 bands don't drop that shit please I just want to live up to this image that I ain't. Anyway, when you when you make your response video, take them big ass glasses off like I do and look at the camera like a man. You always hide behind them glasses. Show your eyes, boy. The eyes are winning to the soul. We want to see you, boy. We want to look through you. I don't never wear glasses. Don't wear no glasses when you talk about me now because we want to see the truth in your eyes. Yeah. Like bruh said, when the interview dropped, hey, he was going to rock with some feathers on the coat. And that's exactly what he did, man. Yeah. I know too much, bro. They're trying to silence me, bro. I was walking out of No Jumper interview. I know it was you, Boosie. You trying to silence me because I know too much about you. But I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to stop. Yeah! Yeah! And if y'all see the caption of that video right there that he put out, he said, Adam seen how scared you was. We caught you by surprise, huh? And I'm going to show y'all what he meant by that. So we're going to go to that part of the interview first and then get into the rest of the references that he made about Boosie. But family, I definitely recommend y'all go watch this interview in its entirety because, hey, man, y'all going to definitely gravitate towards Uncle Bang. Say, family, I'm y'all nigga, right? I'm y'all nigga, right? Y'all my niggas too. And y'all know I don't stamp too many. But when it comes to Uncle Bang, how that man stamp? Y'all go ahead and check out what he had to say. Wish I had Boosie's number. That would be crucial. I got it. You want it? Uh, look, here. I just want his number so I can FaceTime him. Right? So look, family, I want to show y'all this little part, man, so y'all can see how they got into calling Boosie and how it started, man. See, Uncle Bank, he didn't bring that up. Adam brought it up, so he went into, you know, his, his issues with Boosie and what that was all about. And I'm going to show y'all that after this phone call. But Adam wanted Boosie's number, so Bang gave Adam Boosie's number, and that's how everything transpired right now hold on let's call boosie we're gonna see if he's gonna be a motherfucking man oh shit you got he got me black you can't call him there you go boosie right there look at my phone call him right there you see boosie call him off your oh, phone you got brick baby's number too what you doing with him just don't worry about it i'll be tapped in brick baby just sent me some music yo see, don't know. i'm gonna facetime him and he's gonna see me and he's gonna be don't so do it confused my phone. he got me black oh shit call him off your phone Adam. Well, if he has he blocked then it probably don't matter right call him off your phone Adam. probably gonna block my number tell him be a man adam said he ain't trying to fuck up his business that man said he probably gonna block my number two this man sit here and told you 30 times that he got blocked by boosie you still trying to call him off his phone. Call him off your phone, man. You want to talk to Boosie, call him off your phone, man. Say, like, be a man, nigga. We from Baton Rouge, nigga. I'm that same nigga. You never came to my hood. I came to your hood 10 times. 
30 times when y'all was shooting that movie. Tomorrow, come get in the movie, dog. I don't want to get in the movie. My Which life one? a movie. Water Boys? Man, call Boots and stop shooting some right fucking now. Water Boy. But that was one of his movies. Call your phone, bro. All right, here we go. I have Boosie's. I hope that nigga answer. He, Boosie's number. He's going to show his true color because he's going to be, he, it's gonna, he not going to be ready for it. He's going to be so confused. Yeah. He's probably actually never going to fuck with me again after this. If he actually picks up, he's probably, he don't fuck with you now. I'm going to be on his permanent do not fuck with list, which for all I know, I might already be on. He don't fuck with you now, Adam. As far as from what I know, I ain't never seen Boosie do no interview with no jumpers, so I don't think he fuck with no jumper either. I could be wrong. Maybe there is like a little interview from way back when. I don't remember that shit. I can't recall it, but I'm pretty sure he don't fuck with that man at all. Oh uh, yeah, he's a Vlad. He don't guy. fuck with them, all them 25 niggas that live in his house right now. He's Roger a Vlad can't man. even come out the house with a drawers on. Come out the room with a drawers on. He got 25 niggas. You know I, mean? I got video of niggas whooping his ass. Niggas getting beat up in his house. You want to see it? I'm sending him a selfie of us. Oh, see, look, it ended, but it ended like mat mid ring. So I think he he ended it himself. Boosie, uh, he knew it was the 22. Story. All you gotta do is be a man, nigga. All right. Hey, oh, don't gotta love you, nigga. I know you trying to do your preacher thing. Boosie! Shit, it's frozen. He's scared. No, it's technology. Boosie! What up, man? Right here, that man, Adam22, skipped over the conversation of him and Boosie. And then uh, they carry on right here. Oh, come on, bro. <laughs> you seen him? I don't know that, dude. You trying to be Hollywood. I want to be like, nigga. sorry about that, but I don't know if that's going to come off as genuine. <laughs> he hates you now. Say, bro, you think he's going to be now? in the house like motherfucking the nigga on Boys in the Hood, just swinging and nothing. He, he gonna hate you and never get an interview from Boosie. I can't believe it worked. Hey, Kodak, that nigga's a bitch. You seen that shit? That's live on air. I don't know that dude. They got a hundred niggas. Let's call these niggas. Let's call this hood. So y'all see that man Boosie hit him with the little Hollywood move, the Heisman, man. I don't know that dude. I don't know him because it's all he got to do to try to ruin the man's credibility. But hold up, hold up. I'm gonna give y'all my thoughts on that in a second. Let's call this hood. Oh, man. They say he don't know me. <laughs> Oh, oh boy. Let's call this hood. You don't know me? Let's call somebody from your hood. <laughs> boy, you lucky niggas. I'll call your cousin right now, nigga. Boy, that nigga got the audacity. I saved your life. I don't know you, Hollywood. Mm. Say, bro, that tell you right there, bro. Every, everything, like, what is it called? Uh, perception? Yes. Perception, motherfucker. Perception's everything. That motherfucker just played it off like he don't know me. Bitch, we grew up together. There go Benji B. Uh-oh. Say, Benji, this nigga Boosie just got on motherfucking FaceTime say he don't know me. How many times we been in the studio with this nigga? How many times we been around this nigga? A lot. Benji, do this nigga know me? I'm right down on Wooddale. Benji, do this nigga know me? <laughs> Fucking right, we all been together. What you mean? Say, Benji, this nigga just got on live and lied to Adam say he don't know me. That's that Hollywood shit, man. Hey, tell him call Turk and Mel. Hey, that's the Hollywood Tell him call You heard about him as a Hollywood shit. <laughs> hey, look, tell him call Turk and Mel. Tell him call No Limit Gangster. That nigga say he don't know you. <laughs> Talk to him, Adam. Uh, hey, he said he didn't know him. Adam goofy ass just funny. Uh, he said he don't. Just look goofy. <laughs> he said he don't know you? He said he didn't know him. On no jumper. <laughs> this man from his hood. I'm from Sherwood. He not from my hood. I'm from Sherwood. He from Boosie hood. Oh yeah. Hey, that pressure on now. He, he, he ain't expect you to get that far. He ain't expect me to come this far. He ain't expect you to get that far. Benji B, he ain't always retarded. Bingo, bingo. That's the key right there. See, Benji, he hit it right on the coffin, the nail right in the coffin on the coupe. Boosie ain't expect you to get that far. He thinking if he don't acknowledge you off of his page, none of his people gonna pay you any attention. And now that you on no jumper, now you got the platform to really speak out. So he gonna try to kill the credibility before it even build up, you feel me? Before it build up to where it's gonna get to. Come on, man. Tell him, hey, we a hit man, your hit man. A chopper with a hundred. That's a drum with a stick frame. He try to roll you out like that? He try to roll me out like that. Damn. That's Benji. a soft, that he from his hood. Who are we? He got a song with Boosie. <laughs> that nigga got a song with Boosie. Country and Gun. man. Dude, you got a song with the Boosie? Oh, oh, we went to, oh, we grew up together, McKinley High, shit, all that, South Bay. You talk your shit. No, Interview my nigga. That's his boosty home. We got a song. We all be together. Somebody don't know me. We all be together. Ha, ha. Joke on you, pussy. Stop playing. Hey, Gates, I know why you don't like that bitch nigga now. Damn. Hey, that man wildin', huh? Hey, you wildin', huh? Hey, that man wildin', huh? <laughs> he tried to assassinate your character, huh? 
Hey, how I check out the streets? My face going good out here. <laughs> that man say he don't know you. <laughs> say, Benji B. Nigga face going good in Baton Rouge, huh? Show up for that. No gunslinger, no Jay boy. And you try to oh, stop. Hey, look, I told him you got. I said, bro, I saved your life on Southern Campus. The nigga say, man, I don't know you. I don't know you. He told Adam a lie. Look at my eyes, Benji. That nigga told Adam a lie. Hey, but think about it. What else he can say? What else he gonna say? He's he a bitch ass nigga. What else he gonna say? I, if I eat a bowl of ice cream, I'm gonna choke and die from diabetes, bitch ass nigga. <laughs> Making fun of him for having diabetes is a low blow. Man, fuck all that. This, I'm from Baton Rouge. Ain't no low blow. All right, see, once again, Benji hitting the nail right on the coffin. What else do you expect that man to do? You know, hey, that man gonna try to destroy your momentum before you get it all the way up there. You feel me? Reaching out to these bloggers and sitting down doing these interviews with these huge blogging sites, that's gonna put you in a whole new fan base on a whole new algorithm and now everything you say gonna cut deep like a sword he gonna have to feel it you know what i'm saying he already feeling it but his pockets ain't truly feeling it but once people start hearing what you gotta say you know what i'm saying and people knowing the relationship the prior relationship people gonna start to open their eyes to what's going on you feel me so before he let you get to that point he gonna kill any momentum you got and say i don't know that man that's a Hollywood favorite move, man. They always say that. I don't know that, man. And then what it make you look like is somebody who's trying to chase clout and trying to, you know, coat tell somebody to get to the top when that ain't even the case. You feel me? But uh, you already know you got the receipts on the coup. Hey, I know you from here, here, and here. I got people that'll vouch for me here, here, and here. Hey, look, we take as far as it go. We from Baton Rouge. Hey, more than like the jail, nigga, drop a hit. My hit man go hit man, you hit man. Yeah. No, 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 no. Say, Adam, this this a low blow. When you act like you know somebody that you you yeah you know you know what's up. Right. Come on, I don't know you, man. You come on, man. Everybody know. Everybody know Uncle Bang in the city, man. Oh yeah. That's the, only, that's the only white boy that's really yeah from our city. We call, hey, and you know what's fucked up? He can't be mad at me about calling him because he called me back. So, like, technically, he called us. Adam, 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 Adam. Say, brother, say, listen. Listen to me. Listen very closely. Because I know you're going to watch this video. Adam, stop the corny shit. Hey, that man don't fuck with you. Stop the corny shit, man. I understand you're a businessman. You're trying to keep all your options open, hoping one day... You gonna get that Boosie interview? That man don't fuck with you. Stop the corny shit. Not I called him, gave him nigga Boosie real number. He wasn't expecting Adam to call. Hey, you know what it was, Adam. He wasn't, he wasn't expecting that. He expected you to call about. How you see how nervous he look at him? Keep it straight. He ain't look nervous. Nah, he look chill. You a lying motherfucker. <laughs> you a lying motherfucker. That's why you laughing. That nigga was nervous. That he was nigga, barely looking at the phone. That nigga was sweating like a whore, like a whore in church. It's the summer. Adam, god damn it, nigga. Didn't I just tell you to stop the corny shit? It's the summer. <laughs> hey, bro, this dude right here is crazy, man. That nigga swing like a pill with no hoes. He's like, like a dude, like, oh shit. He's like, oh fuck, a nigga that exposed me. Oh shit, it's a nigga from my city that know everything about my past. That's how it be, boy. That past come back to haunt you, boy. That past come back to haunt you. Hey, say, what that nigga say, though? Nigga don't want that past to come out. Nigga want that past to stay in that closet. Way back there, I'm talking. Hey, way back there. Nigga try to throw that to the back. Try to dust that one, put that up under something. We don't want to see that at all. Don't surface that at all. That's what it be, though. On the cool, nigga don't want to destroy that image at all. Niggas do not want to hurt their image. That's what it is, man. It's all about image. It's all about what they build up, what they can portray to the people, what they can make them believe. And that's just what it's about. Now, hey, man, in this next little part, I'm going to show y'all, man, Uncle Bang, he finna get into the reason why these men are having a disagreement right now. I ain't even gonna say a conflict, the issue, or anything like that. Like he explained to y'all even in this interview, it's still love there. And I'm gonna show y'all that part as well. Oh, and speaking of Southern University, Lil Boosie was in the car sleeping full of syrup one night, and I pulled up on Southern University campus. Uh -huh. He got all his jewelry on, a pint of syrup on the floor with a blunt in his hand, he's sleeping. They got some niggas about to stick him up and kill him. In the parking lot? In the parking lot, Southern University you campus. You don't gotta kill him if he's sleeping, Look, right? I walk up on the car, I know the dudes, these some serious dudes. I'm like, say, bro, let that go on the screen of me. Man, them dudes about to pop me. That's what I was thinking. They about to pop me. I'm like, bro, just let them make it, bro. I'm gonna come talk to y'all tomorrow. I'm gonna come in y'all hood and talk to y'all tomorrow. They about to kill Boosie. That's why I'm really mad. So you saved Boosie's life? That's why I'm really mad. You saved his life and he couldn't even shout out the clothing brand. He ain't about the clothing brand. Hard times. nigga was gonna kill you, boy. <laughs> you know I know, nigga. 
<laughs> yo, yo. What do we got to do to make things right with Boosie? If he apologize, you'd be all if good. If he apologize, be a man, nigga. All that shit you talk on the internet, be a man, nigga. Hmm. Call my phone, nigga. You want to see the DM what he hit me with? What's the last time you DM'd? So he blocked me and DM'd me. Just see, like, I wish I had Boosie. Y'all see what he said right there. He said that's one of the issues as to the reason why, you know, things are where they at right now. That's not the whole issue. Now, the issue that really got things to where it's at right now is because Uncle Bang said Boosie beat his son out of some bread, $500. And he also shot him the clothing, you know, the clothing line. Y'all remember we spoke about that in a prior video, but now he elaborates a little bit more on what's going on. What's, what's the root of it? Huh? What's, what's where the problem? I got a clothing line. Okay. My son love Boosie, cause so right. I hate to bash him, but I son, my son sent you five hundred dollars and a thousand dollars worth of clothing line. Now your girl Rajel wearing that bitch. Oh Rajel, I feel sorry for you. You he got twenty five dudes living in that mansion. You can't even come out the house with your drawers on, baby girl. Ha <laughs> ha! Hey, that nigga stupid. Hey, on the kudo. I bet baby over there salty. Hey, she can't walk around with them titties swinging or nothing. Hey, y'all know how y'all ladies love to do it, baby, and I love it too. When y'all do what y'all do, I'm telling you. When I say I'm telling you, and I'm saying I'm telling you, press, press your shit. Panties on, titties out on a cool asshole booty butt neck and sometimes just a little bit of panties on. You know, nothing too serious on the cool. But she got to put it all up. You know, Boosie, Boosie little nephews and homies and partners all be over there. She going to have hella fine niggas over there looking out the corner of their eye and shit, trying to see what's going on, trying to see what they can see. Nigga going to be ready to hit her in some more shit. Y'all already know. I don't think they gonna do But you know, man, it's always that one nigga. That one nigga who still try it. Nigga get too horny. The freaky nigga. That nigga too horny, too freaky. And he gonna try her on the code. Hit her with that. I can treat you better than he do. I don't like the way he be treating you. He always gone. I'll be here for you all the time. Fuck around and smash her. Hey, y'all know. Y'all know. Hey, every nigga know they got that one partner. That a nigga just cannot trust. <laughs> I feel sorry for you. But look, anyway. You sent him mad clothes and he didn't rock any? He love Boosie. Okay. He don't love him no more. He, he broke my son's heart. Man, his son Tootie and Boosie used to be running around in the studio and diapers playing together while me and Boosie in the studio. Wow. So, like, you a bitch, boy. But wait, it's just. You're lucky you be having all the securities with you because I'd be one deep. So, wait, he just didn't wear the clothes? That's what this no, is all about? No, he held it up. Oh, and it yeah. took a nigga six months to send a picture. I had to call, cuss his whole staff out. Y'all some bitch ass niggas, bitch ass. And then, look, I ain't gonna lie, I feel sorry. I talked to so many people in the city. His cousin, Donkey, a preacher now. Uh -huh. And he called me and tried to squash the shit. He like, bro, you my friend. That's his first cousin. Like, his, that's his big dog. You hear about him in the song. Okay. He like, Donkey called me like, bro, man, that's you my friend. That's my cousin, bro. I don't want neither one of y'all getting killed. Neither one of y'all going to jail. And I kind of like just blew him down. And he a preacher now. Donkey, I apologize. But By the way, that's something we got to talk about in the future too, man. I'm proud of Donkey, man. Shout out to that man. Continue on your spiritual journey. You doing the right thing, homie. Setting the right example. The rest of you nigga, f all y'all. Blow you blew him down. Don't, yeah, Meaning like, like fuck, fuck off, you, man. Fuck all that yeah, fake preaching shit. But hey, don't get apologize. I know you trying to do the real thing, but all the rest of your squad boosted. Ah, right, that poor bitch ass nigga. Jeez. But so okay, he didn't rock the clothes, and then you just that that just set you off. Like you no, don't he, follow he him. He held it up. Right. Because but it took six months to get the picture, Adam. I'm gonna be real with you. People send me shit all the time, and a lot of times I just don't wear it at if all. You get paid for it, you're not gonna wear it. Oh, you paid him? My son paid him five hundred. That's why I feel oh, so bad. It's personal. My son, he works a job. He uh -huh. worked hard for his money. He working a plan. He not. I ain't raising him to be no street dude. But when people give me clothes and I don't rock them, I always wonder if they're secretly gonna hate me. But I've never. They're, gonna they're hate not you. paying me. What for you mean? Dude. You know they're gonna hate you. Hey, I salute that man because you always gotta be overprotective of your children, man, and they feelings. No matter how old they get, and one important thing. I should have mentioned before I even showed y'all that clip or put it in there when he spoke about it is the fact that his child is autistic. So he really got to be overprotective. That's going to make a lot of motherfuckers trying to manipulate him and get over on him. So he got to be overprotective. And the fact that he paid Boosie to promote his brand, Boosie, you should have did that. And you should have did it just off the strength of this being a young man who come from the same struggle as you, who trying to make something out of himself and ain't asking you for a handout. Real niggas would have respected that. See, these are the same people who put you in your position to be a superstar, for you to make it out the hood. You know what I'm saying? So when you see a young nigga with ambition coming up like that, you're supposed to throw him that oop off the love, off the muscle. But if he paid you, you extraly over the top throw that oop on the cool. But of course, you know, bang man, he wasn't done yet. 
Bang also mentioned Kodak Black and let the people know some. Hey, I'm gonna let y'all. I'm gonna let y'all hear it. But you were dry with my homeboy Adam. <laughs> Why you did that shit, Kodak? Why you had to be dry? Cause I love you, Kodak. We gonna run it back. I fuck with Kodak. I'm gonna show up with hundred perks. Hey, just Kodak kidding. Just is kidding. the Kodak's the Kodak, real boosie. Adam. Kodak's the real boosie. You know how everybody respect boosie and like, mm. but Kodak's the person that boosie's trying to be. Really? Ooh, that just touched deep. But, I'm gonna hurt some niggas' feelings with that one. But hey, Adam. Kodak is the nigga that Boosie's trying to be. Okay, I've watched a lot of documentaries about Boosie, including ones that basically contain Boosie ain't never shot statement. A that right there let you know Adam 22 is not qualified to be speaking on anything that he's speaking on, and the man is super far removed from the streets. He don't know anything about that lifestyle. He talking about watching documentaries to prove somebody gangster and what they really on. You feel me? Bruh, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? And it's right, because he was paying people that to do it for him. That motherfucker needs to take off that certified stepper chain and send it to Angola to Marlo Mike because he ain't never stepped on nothing but shoes and socks, old bitch ass nigga. Uh -huh. I was shooting shit. What a camera, I was shooting niggas. <laughs> ben Rouge, who was getting it in? Not boost. Uh, that's your business, man. That's your business. That's your business. He was selling weed. Lil Wee, small timer. But he'd been a famous rapper for like a long ass time. Okay, if you've been a famous rapper since you're 15, when do you have time to be a gangster? I mean, but on now, once you're a famous rapper, now. being a gangster does not necessarily <laughs> hey, mean putting in your own work, right? Me. Now, here's the thing, man, because I know a lot of people conflicting on that. They say when you're a famous rapper, don't put in your own work. That's the narrative around like the hip hop industry and what they say, right? Like some mafia boss type of shit, man. But the thing is, bro, if you're not willing to do it yourself, then don't even get involved. You feel me? Why even be involved? Why even allow somebody else to take that risk and lose their life behind some bullshit that you got going on? Why even put the people that you claim to love in that environment, in that predicament? You feel me? Or why trick somebody else off? You feel me? If you ain't willing to do it yourself and get tricked off because you know that shit's stupid and hot, why put somebody else in that position? That right there ain't gangsta at all. You know what I'm saying? Just stay away. Stay out of the ball game. You know, hang up your jersey. Leave it all alone. Because uh, you done on the cool. If that's what it's about. You know what I'm saying? It's about the paper. Chase the paper. Because that's what we all doing, right? That's what everybody was in the streets for, right? That's what I thought this shit was all about. Was to get the paper. So in my personal opinion, when you get that paper, you should leave the streets regardless. Okay. But I, like, I think I, I'm not sure. I think I got like two bags in my head right now. Cause right. pussy ass rappers. Man, I'm trying to raise kids. So you think Boosie did one? Boosie's a hoe. Look, if that bitch <laughs> eat a popsicle right now, he gonna have a diabetic coma and die. And look, it, hey, Boosie, what a camera at? Is that how diabetes Where's works? Where's the camera at? Don't you have to have sugar? Which like? point to the camera? Sure, that, that, Boosie, that one is just. I good. hope you eating when you watch this, cause you gonna choke on your food and die, bitch. And I hope you do. You pussy bitch. Play on my son, bitch. You know what's happening with me? Acting like you don't know a nigga, bitch. We came up together, you pussy, bitch. Wait a minute. So what's the problem with Boosie? He's a hoe. He know. He know what's up. Where did the problem bitch start, ass nigga? And I know what y'all thinking, family. Was this entire interview just a diss and drag Boosie? No, it wasn't. That's why y'all need to go see the full thing. He also gave Boosie his flowers and gave him love. Three nigga in the building. How you feel about Boosie being his gun case? Hey, that was a Boosie, was a my nigga. Thing. I'm mad at you right now. But I almost cried when I see you took that ankle bracelet off, nigga, because you know we got history, nigga. I love you. I Y'all never came to my hood, but I always came to y'all hood. You know, I used to whip down by myself, two glocks, you know. Mm. Hey, I'm glad you beat that case, my nigga, from the heart. I'm mad at you. If I see you right now, I'd probably beat the fuck out you if you ain't got security with you. But from the heart, I'm glad you beat that. When I seen you beat that case, I damn this shit a tear, bro. Because I know you love Tootie, you know. I, bitch, I know you love Tootie. I know you love Ivy Island, you know. But I'm going to beat you the fuck up if I see you. <laughs> I swear to God, I can't hold my feelings back. Right. What am I do say, bro? Drunk man going to always tell the truth. Right. Shout out Boosie. Shout out Boosie. A fucking legend from my city. I don't want to see you fight him. Say, bro, look. Nah, he's too little. I just have to tell yeah, him. Yeah, that was all right. That yeah. hit, bro. Bro, like, to be honest, if somebody called me right now, somebody, somebody said they hurt Boosie. I, I, is that I, would, your, I wouldn't be happy. Is that your local state pride or? No, I, this is my little homeboy. This ain't. Okay. Boosie used to be my friend. Man. He brought me out of stage, uh, brought me out on stage with him when he had the Zoom shit when the night I got out of prison. Uh -huh. He used to be my friend. But Boosie ain't no bad dude. Right. He's a good fing dude. Seems like, I'm, yeah. I, like it ain't really like it's really personal because like this is my friend. Like I hate talking, I hate bashing him because I gotta tell you the good shit about him. He a good father like me. Bro, y'all gotta understand Boosie. He's a good dude, bro. Uh -huh. He just be trolling, bro. Dude was really, really from the hood. He really from a like all his cousins, gangsters, all his family. Like bitch came up in a rough hood. Right. But he just be doing too much, and I be looking at it because I'm from. I be like, man, chill out. You cool with TQ, his brother? 
I don't know that nigga, no square nigga. <laughs> trying to sue your brother, nigga, you a bitch. Why are you trying to sue your brother? But he, he, uh, Man, I, I cut my brother oh, in the head man. with a pistol. He called the police on me. We brothers. You, TQ, you a bitch for that. Jesus Christ. All right. TQ, sorry. Um, what the fuck, TQ? You shouldn't have played the put people on boo, bitch. Sorry. When do you know Gangster from? You know him from back in the day? No, or you met him recently? Nigga like that. I met that nigga. Um, when he but yeah, man, that's what Uncle Bang got to say about that particular issue. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about all this, man. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Y'all make sure y'all go blow this interview up. Show us some love. Like I told y'all, this is the best interview I done seen on No Jumper, period. Leave a comment, like, and subscribe.